I'm finding the landscape in the new forest area quite interesting, a bit of contrast. So you've kind of got these like open moors and then you've got these dense beautiful old forests as well. So I do a day trip to Bewley, the National Motor Museum, and start wandering through the kind of the historical car section, attempting to find the caravan area. They've got a certain look about them, don't they? All the all the metal, all the parts that you can kind of see on the outside. I found the caravan section of the exhibition. There's kind of a cool, yeah, they share a little bit of history of how it all got started. And this is a 1955 caravan. It's tiny, it's so cute. I love the shape of it. <laughs> and then there's an Eccles caravan as well. I think it says it's 1926. two caravans. I kind of wish that there were, you know, there was a bigger section of old school caravans. <laughs> and it was interesting just wandering around this graphic reading some of the dates and facts. Like in 1885 the world's first purpose-built leisure touring caravan made its maiden journey. In 1938 the Holidays with Pay Act is passed so people can actually enjoy holidays. In 1951, the club's first official site, Crystal Palace, is open. It's just, it, it has been interesting just reading about the caravan history. This was a surprise. I hadn't realised there was a top, gear, a top Gear section. I used to watch quite a bit when I was living, well you know, when I was living in a normal house. <laughs> now, so you kind of jump straight from the motorbile section into this kind of historical section. So this is the Victorian Gardens. I really like this idea. <laughs> kind of a cool kind of walkway full of beans. It's moving day again today and I've been meaning to go to a reception and buy waterless wash I spotted when I checked in originally. So it looks like we're finally getting some good weather again. It's beautiful sunset tonight. I feel like for the last week it's been yeah pretty average weather really. <laughs> and I don't know if I've mentioned the reason I've been at this campground was to meet Andrew Ditton. And we're actually parked next to each other. So I'll link to the interview we did together. I bought three SIM card. I, I linked up with a three phone network because it had like an unlimited data package but seriously the last three campgrounds I've stayed at the internet's been basically non-existent and uh, I've heard EE here you're fine like if I'd just gone with another provider I'd, 
<laughs> I'd be fine. So luckily though, the Caravan and Motorhome Club do have a Wi-Fi setup, so I can pay three pounds per day and get internet at the campground, and it's pretty good. It's been enough. It was a bit slow, but I was able to upload my next YouTube video, <laughs> and I've been able to actually start emailing and, and organizing and all the things that I've been putting off for the last couple of campgrounds. I said farewell to Andrew Ditton this morning. He headed off. So great <laughs> to meet up. It's really, really interesting having a, a chat with him. He's got a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge. Now moving to, so onward to the next campground. That was a easy drive until I took the wrong turn or I had pre-planned this one through Google Maps and ignored my car sat nav at certain parts because I wanted to stay on the A roads for as long as possible and avoid driving through Brighton. So I was good until I followed the sat nav. There was a left turn. I should have waited one more block, but it's hard to tell because there were lights, cars were going in and out. It felt like it should have been a main road and I assumed maybe the sat nav knew something I, I didn't so I went down it as soon as I turned I saw that I shouldn't have <laughs> but, you know oh. but I got out there I got through no dramas <laughs> first impressions I really like this one actually I've managed to get a really nice private spot no one's looking into my window it's just trees lots of trees actually it's nice. I like this one. So it rained all of last night. It was it was solid wind and rain, but it's calmed down. It's back to normal. So I'm having kind of a more of a working day today. But there is a massive Asda just down the road. I'm kind of running out of food. And thought I'd have a look. There's a marina like seven minute walk away but I'm gonna drive because I'm planning to buy stuff. So it kind of, it kind of looks like the dug the dug land out to expand the marina. I did read online that this is the biggest marina in England I think it said. I'm trying to kind of tick some things off my to-do list today and one of them is Make the, the caravan look a little nice again. It's starting to look like it's been traveling around the UK for a couple of months. <laughs> Shake bottle well. Dampen one cloth. Spray small amount on surface and leave for 30 seconds before wiping clean. This has really been kind of a productive day, catching up on chores, cleaning the caravan. Because of all the rain and the wind, we, the caravan, poor caravan, had like brown streaks down the side, which is not a good look in photos. But hopefully it's better now. It's okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. And it's Sunday in Brighton and I'm heading into town have a bit of an explore before the last meetup. <laughs> Discreetly smiling in the background. 